These are the best budget PBT keycaps ever. All right, but these keycaps are from LTC. They just came out very recently and they're only 35 bucks. These things are freaking awesome. I've tested these keycaps with three different keyboards. First, a totally stock Royal Kludge RK84, then a Red Dragon K617 Fizz, again, completely stock. And then I tested it with a modded GK61 with lubed Gateron optical yellows and custom modded stabilizers. If at any point during the video, you wanna check out these exact same keycaps. There's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's get on with the video. First, take a listen to the before and after with the Royal Clutch RK84 with brown switches. All right, now firstly, it is a massive difference with feel. I know you guys can't actually feel it. However, it feels so much better. Worlds better than the typical stock RK84. Now again, remember, this is only with keycaps. There is nothing else that I did to this board. It makes it feel a lot more solid and you lose that tinny sound that you get with those crappy stock keycaps. The difference is quite apparent when hearing each key press back to back. You can hear that this tinny sound is gone and is replaced with a more thwacky sound. Now it's actually incredible with these keycaps when hearing the typing back to back. That was actually awesome to hear. Now the keycaps that I'm raving about in this video are KDA Profile, and they only come in two different colors. As you can see there, there is the KDA Profile. Now it's a little bit confusing. If you look on their Amazon listing, there are a bunch of different profiles and a ton of different colorways. This is one of them. Now these XDA profiles are only 20 bucks. However, each profile has significantly different quality and obviously a different price point. So these XDA ones are no match for these KDA ones. And these KDA ones are a ton thicker and way more like modding gray. Like if you wanted to put it on a nice keyboard, you can actually do it with these keycaps. But with these, I would say if you're doing a super budget keyboard, these are the ones that are really special, the KDA profile. All right, so there are two colorways. There is gray and orange and red and white. Now, if you're building a board and like these colorways, this would be great for you. However, it is unfortunate that they only offer these two colorways, but let's listen to the K617 Fizz before and after. Take a listen. Now, right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed with this board in particular is how much better the stabilizers sound. Again, negating how much better these feel than the stock keycaps. The stabilizers transformed the sound just with the keycaps. All right, now let's listen to the back-to-back -back typing sound. so much better. Okay, but the last two have been kind of totally stock keyboards with really, really bad stock keycaps. However, now let's compare it to a modded GK61. This is the GK61 with the keycaps on it. However, it previously in the sound test had these Akko ASA profile keycaps, which are $60 keycaps. Now $60 versus 35, that's almost half the price. So let's see how these keycaps compare to keycaps almost double the price, take a listen. All right, now that was very impressive. Right away, you can hear the Akko ASA profile keycaps have a very distinctive sound to them. These lack a little bit of that. They don't quite have that quite good acoustic sound that the Akkos have, but the sound with just a key press is quite good. However, moving into the stabilizers, this is where they definitely fall short compared to those Akko ASA profile keycaps.
the Echoes have a very nice and clean sound, whereas these have a bit of a muddier sound to them. However, still insanely impressive as these are half the price as the Echo ASA profile ones. Here is back-to-back -back typing. All right, but there is more to keyboards than just sound. And number one is text clarity. So first we have the Echo right here, which is crystal clear. This thing is razor sharp. Now comparing this side by side, you probably won't be able to see it on camera. However, the LTC keycaps are not razor sharp like the Echo one right there. As you can see in this, the Echo one is razor sharp and you might not even be able to see that. So only if you are completely looking at these things and literally looking at them like this, you are not gonna see a difference. So the printing is actually quite good, but yeah, definitely not on the quality of these Echo ones. But the next incredibly important thing for keycaps is compatibility. This is a 75% keyboard right here, which has some different keys. Now this 60% keyboard basically has all of the normal keys. So you're pretty much always gonna be able to fit your keycaps on this. But because these are XDA, you can see this escape key up there is actually bigger than the other ones because it should be on the row above up here. Now they don't have another keycap for that, However, in this case, I don't mind it because I think it looks cool up at that escape key. That's where most people have their novelty keycaps. So I think it looks cool up there, not a problem for me. But besides that, 75% boards, as you can see here, they have the small Alt FN control as well as your multimedia keys that all work perfectly. As you can see, those are all perfect for a 75% board. As well as very important for 75 and 65% boards, they have that small shift key right there in conjunction with the normal shift key. After modding the 60%, we have the tilde key right up here, and then we have all of the rest of the keys. You can see the smaller shift right here. This should help you figure out, even if you have a really weird form factor, if these will fit your keyboard, but most likely they will. But this is actually really impressive for more budget keycaps. Overall, for 35 bucks, are these keycaps worth it to put in your next build? Well, I would say absolutely. They are seriously impressive quality for the money. Again, if you wanna go check out these keycaps, there's Amazon links below, or if you wanna check out the Echo keycaps, you can check over in the left corner right over here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, this is Consumer Tech Review. See you guys later.